So Deck the Halls came out in 2006 and it stars Danny DeVito and Matthew Broderick as two fighting neighbors from hell. Now this film was absolutely hated by critics and absolutely hated by the majority of audiences. And question is, do I hate it as much as everybody else? Not really. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, okay, scratch that. It's a pretty bad film, but it's really entertaining in my opinion. And um, I've seen worse. I've seen worse Christmas films, that's for sure. Um, it's like a cheap slapstick modern um, kind of waste of time Christmas film, I guess you could say. But it's not like overly long. It's not overly offensive, at least for me. Uh, of course, there's going to be things that, you know, are not politically correct in it. Uh, things that are not for the times. Um, but there's always things to pick about in every film when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, it's not written well. It's not really supposed to be anything smart to begin with. Um, it's just to be, it's supposed to be like a goofy comedy that's kind of appropriate for family. Um, it's certainly not gonna, you know, aim for Christmas vacation quality or anything like that. But, uh, Danny DeVito seems to give it his all, um, especially. Uh, Matthew Broderick is Matthew Broderick. He's basically Matthew Broderick in any movie he's in, so expect him to be the same. Um, you also get a lot of other actresses and actors. Uh, one in particular, Kristen Chenoweth, who shows up in uh, a lot of Christmas films. She was actually in Four Christmases, which I watched and reviewed recently. And uh, she's famous for having that really high-pitched voice, which either you'll find annoying or very charismatic and memorable. Um, but we have what we have going on in the film is basically you have Danny DeVito who is the Christmas guy of his town and then Matthew Broder Broderick who is also known to be a Christmas guy from where he comes from but he recently just moved into the neighborhood and uh, he's kind of having a little bit of a rough patch with uh, with the neighbor Danny DeVito who gets it in his head that he wants to uh, basically deck his uh, entire house out with lights for it to be seen from space because he has two daughters, really good looking daughters by the way, uh, who go onto this app on the internet where it's basically Google Earth for the movie. They don't call it Google Earth for copyright reasons obviously, but um, all the houses are visible from space except for Danny DeVito's character who's a car salesman but doesn't really have any passions in life until he uh, wants to dive right into this uh, Christmas passion that he has of his and even cancels a bunch of work for it and um, it's just feuding neighbors pretty much like um, an entire film and an entire duration of a film where you would have like Arnold Schwarzenegger and his neighbor from Jingle All the Way um, fighting for an hour and a half basically so they're doing all these like shenanigans there's one scene where Matthew Broderick buys a bunch of firecrackers and starts launching them at Danny DeVito's house um, you get, like, kind of modern music going on, stuff like that. Um, it's, it's fine, I guess. But, yeah, there's not really too much to say about this one. Uh, Danny DeVito is the biggest reason that I would recommend this film. Um, I think he is <laughs> hilarious as, you know, his quirky self. Um, you get what you would expect to see from DeVito, and, um, there is a lot of, like, sexual puns in this film too that will go off like will go over the kids heads but all the adults will uh will understand and stuff like that and um i mean is it a wasted opportunity in a lot of parts sure but um you know it's not crazy offensive either there is a lot of uh like i said politically incorrect stuff that goes on a lot of like homophobic jokes you could say uh, cross-dressing jokes. There's, uh, there's one that, like, plays off right from the beginning of the film to basically the end of it that they keep, uh, <laughs> running on into. Um, but, like, I don't know. I've, I've heard too, like, I've heard, uh, too much hate on it, pretty much, for what it deserves, I would say. Like I said, it's not, it's not aiming to be anything amazing, but, uh, it's not the worst thing to ever come at Christmas either, so... It's fine. Um, it fits the Christmas theme and uh, kind of puts you in a Christmas mood, although not everybody will agree on that. Um, like I said, for an hour and a half, 
there's there's way worse that I've seen. So that's really all I got on Deck the Halls. And um, yeah, so subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you'd like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more, so stay tuned for those. Till next time, take care and cheers.